Well, good afternoon everyone. This is Joe from the Black Rock Central Railroad. We're going to do a little quickie update, at least I hope it's a quickie, on some of the things that we have been undertaking here in the last uh, two weeks probably, I guess. We're going to show right here an area that's been a little bit of concern to me. This is back in my industrial area. There was always a problem with, sorry about that, <laughs> with getting cars from this crossover, which was a standard left-hand turnout, a 45-degree crossover, into another left-hand turnout so that we could service the plastic industry and the American Hardware Company. My problem came in in that in order to get over here to the cold storage area we had to come all the way back this way here in order to get cars through this turnout over here to allow them progression into the cold storage area. What it amounted to was the area from this turnout to the plastics factory did not allow for more than one car and one engine at a time. So if you wanted to pick up a car from the cold storage area while you were still attached to another car, there was not enough room to get two cars plus an engine in here without disturbing everything that was along this track. So what we decided to do was eliminate that 45 degree crossover, move this turnout, remove this crossover completely because there was not going to be any use for it anymore, and just rearrange all of the track in this area. So let me swing you down here and show you what we uh, accomplished with that. The original turnout that went to the 45 degree angle is the one right here in the lower part of the picture. Which right here, this used to cross over right here and continue on this way up to this turnout which this turnout never moved we left this turnout alone what I did do was remove the turnout that was here and here and reposition them so now as you're bringing uh, cars in, you can come off of here, directly into this turnout. This lead here goes directly to the plastics company. Over here, for loading of your hopper cars with your plastic pellets. It also branches off right in here for additional storage. Have two lines in there for extra hopper cars. The turnouts that were removed from that area are now in this particular spot and this particular spot here. You have plenty of room here now between this turnout and this area here to get an engine and two maybe even three cars that you can shove back up this way here into the cold storage area sorry for all the movement here but the only way I can actually explain this this turnout was put in and the track was rearranged here it used to come over on this side here now it's a little farther over and it goes back up here to go to the inside building 
of the plastics factory, which is back there behind the silos. And it also allows for servicing of the American Hardware Company, which usually has two boxcars sitting in front of it. So we accomplished that in just about a day's time. By the time we uh, got the old stuff all cut out with the Dremel tool, everything re-soldered in and repositioned, got some ballast thrown in there and a little bit of weathering on the track. So bear with me here and we'll move the tripod and show you some of the other things that we're doing. I'm sure a lot of you recognize this as part of a uh, old Athern 200 ton steam powered crane. I bought a kit off of eBay. The fellow said it was complete. It was not. So I ended up having to buy a second kit. So that's why that part's laying there. I converted this over to a diesel powered crane modeled after the unit that is at, down at the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad Museum. You can see here that we cut what used to be a stack on the back side here, eliminate that stack, level the roof out a little bit, and add two mufflers on the back end for the diesel engine. This one here is just decorated for my railroad as part of the maintenance away equipment. In addition, we have the boom tender car, which in my particular case here is a block and cable car. Three extra trucks, numerous pieces of uh, lumber stored underneath for blocking, extra toolbox and some welding equipment. I hope to come up with a couple of Difco ballast hoppers to go along with this along with another flat car full of rail. It won't go anywhere, it'll just sit out on the uh, siding somewhere. But I think as a unit, it will look halfway decent. That's all I've been doing here lately. I did add a couple more lights, but I have more lights coming, so I will wait and show you all them later on. This yard back here is all going to get yard lights put in, much as I did over in the uh, switch yard behind the diesel uh, shop. So that will conclude what I've done so far in the last couple of weeks. Thank you all for watching. Tune in the next time. You all have a great week. Bye bye.